Okay. It was it was an issue on Monday, but it was only like a five ten minute stream just to do Matt's break, so I didn't think it would be a big issue because I was able to get the stream working. But now it's just being stupid. It's being stupid on my side too. It's not that it's not working, but crap isn't updating, and it's it's frustrating me. Just a smidge. Like I can't, I can't, uh, I can't change some stuff around again. If it happens again, let me know. It doesn't seem like it's a widespread thing though, which tells me it's not my side. I just don't know what the issue is. But I am for sure gonna rewatch this after we're done streaming. It seems to only want to give me an hour stream, too. So around 10.30, uh, we're going to see if things start to get interesting here. <laughs> that, that'll be an interesting time to see what happens after I go past the hour mark. Um, I don't know why, why it's giving me that. But I think we're good for now. If anyone has to refresh to, you know, get the audio and video back, let me know. I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do on my side to fix that. There's, there's nothing here to change any of those settings. So, we're going to do this break. And then we have a box for Josh. And that's how this is going to work. <laughs> We're going to just do a stream like it's normal. And we're going to try and fill up some breaks. And we're going to, make, we're going to have fun with it. And I'm going to stop getting annoyed by this because there's nothing I can do about it. All right. Just rest assured, if your stream for some reason goes down and you lose audio and video at 3 fresh, it did not go down on my end. And it's recording just fine, supposedly. We are going to find out. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, guys, we have a group break here. This is 2020 Light the Fire, made by Ajax Sports Cards. This is a sealed box dual random team group break number one. I will be listing number two uh, after we got done this. We have had some streaming-related technical difficulties, but I think we've got it figured out. If anyone has any issues, um, let me know. Um but it should be recorded completely on my side. So I will let you know if there's any uh, issues on my side, and we'll figure it out. If not, I'm going to be giving YouTube an email and seeing what the hell's going on. In the meantime, guys, here is the rules. We're going to go over it real quick so you guys know what the dealio is. Uh, there's 15 slots in this break. Um, what I did is I'm going to take the 15 names of the... Uh, people that bought in, I duplicated that so that there's 30 slots. We're going to take all the names. We're going to take all the teams three times each. I'll randomize those. Then we'll pair up the two lists so that every slot ends up with two teams in the break. You're going to receive all cards um, from the team's list or anything that's pulled with the um, redemptions. If we do pull a redemption for a sealed box, 
Uh, I'm going to randomize the redemption to one person. I will not open the box live with the break. I will do it separately afterwards. So somebody will win the full sealed box, and they can choose to have it either opened or um, sent to them sealed. Uh, if there happen to be any Collegiate All-Star cards, there shouldn't be a problem with it. There should, it. there should be a team name on everything in this product. It will go to the team they play for now. If there's no team on the card, if they're retired or free agent, the team they play the most seasons on. Breaks up with code to YouTube, but YouTube's being all kinds of weird today. So we're going to figure it out as we go. Um, over to random.org here. Here's our 30 names. Basically, like I said, it's the first 15. Just double. We're going to randomize this three times first. And then we'll randomize the teams. And then we will figure it out. All right. So three times on this, we've got one. We've got two. And we've got three. Greg on top. Nathan M on the bottom. All right, and now same deal here. We're going to take the 30 teams, which is these 30. And we're going to put them in here, and we're going to do this one three times. And then I will uh, pair it up here, and you'll see what you get in just a second. One, two, and three. Orioles on top and Marlins on the bottom. there. All right, I'm going to print this out, and I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to put this on the screen. All right, so there you go. So there's our teams for the break here. Let me go run down real quick. Greg has the Orioles, Nathan G, the White Sox, Tim S, the Rangers, and the Yankees, Greg, the Blue Jays, Nathan G, the Cubs, Stephen A, the Rays, Josh M, the Brewers, Stephen A, the Padres, Greg L, the Braves, Stephen A, Twins, Nathan M, the Indians, <clears throat> Greg L, the Mariners, um, Nathan G, the Dodgers, Greg L, the Pirates and A's, Nathan G, the Astros, Stephen A, the Mets, Greg L, the Phillies, Larissa S, the Cardinals, Josh M, the Reds, Larissa S, the D-backs, Tim, the Royals and Nationals, uh, Greg L, the Angels, Tim, the Rockies and Tigers, Nathan G, the Red Sox and Giants, and Nathan M, the Marlins. All right, so what we're going to do is let's break this open here. 12 packs, 3 cards a pack, plus the possibility of redemptions. Uh, one more thing, if there's a memorabilia redemption and there's a team on it, then it'll go to that team. If it's an autographed baseball, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. Just like a card. All right. Empty there. Uh, the red should. There's a bunch of Aquino in this, so the red should have a few uh, a few good cards. Definitely, there are some good Brewers too, if I remember correctly. All right, guys. Stream is being weird, but we're gonna power through it. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, we get something good here. Uh, Twins definitely have some good cards in this, and there is some Franco in this. All right, starting off here for the Blue Jays. We've got a Titan rookie of Kevin Biggio. Oh, wow, look at that. Right off the bat, redemption in this box. Kevin Biggio, Blue Jays. Card number two for the Giants. Baseball graphs uh, from Prism this year, Austin Slater. Baseball autograph. Uh, number three for the Padres, nice chrome rookie, Fernando Tatis Jr., and sure enough, we did get a box. I'll random this off to one person at the end of the break. Sealed 2020 Tops Clearly Authentic Hobby Box. So somebody will get that box for free at the end of the break. I will randomize that between all of the teams.
Uh, Cardinals are loaded up in this, but again, depends on the box. All right, starting off for the Astros, rookie Jordan Alvarez. Nice one there. Number two is the Yankees prospect, TJ Sigma. This is a purple prismatic leaf metal draft auto, four of 25. That'll go to the Yankees spot. There we go. And another hit for the Padres, a base rookie 2019 Tops Series 2, Fernando Tatis Jr. The rookie card to have for Tatis. Nice hit there. Padres with two quick hits. Who was lucky enough to get the Padres? There you go, Jazz. Think this year and last year's rookies. Those are the big, the big ones you want. All right, starting off tw this pack, 2020 Tops Utz Regional. Yankees Aaron Judge. He's regional to the uh, Northeast. If you're in the Northeast, you know about Utz potato chips. Exclusive to those 12-pack uh, uh, vari variation uh, bags. Next one up for the White Sox, 2020 prospect Luis Robert. Good card to have. Nice hit for the White Sox. And nice hit for the Mets. Autographed David Wright. So this is 13 of 99 from 2020 Diamond Kings. Nice hit there, Jazz. Another nice one for you. David Wright autograph. We keep moving on. Nothing else in there. All right, starting off with another Utz exclusive card, Reese Hoskins. For the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies on the board. There you go, VA. Next one up for the Blue Jays. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie. This is from the Factory Sets. Card number 700. Image variation. Toronto Blue Jays on that one. And another one for the Yankees. Dual Threat Jersey. Glaber Torres. This is from 19... Chronicles, numbered 81 of 99 on that one. Neon blue dual jersey. All right, we continue on. There you go, empty. Starting this one off with an Obsidian rookie for the White Sox, Eloy Jimenez. Rookie Obsidian, not numbered on that one. 19 Chronicles. Bit of a unique card here. We've got a it's Ken Griffey Jr. San Bernardino Spirit Minor League card. 1988. Uh, this one's going to go to the Mariners. So Seattle Mariners. There you go, VA. Minor League Ken Griffey Jr. card. And for the Reds, this one is an Adam Dunn Leaf Limited 2003 Auto, numbered 5 of 10. On that one. Cincinnati Reds, you're asking. There you go, Josh. Probably the best Reds card in the product, I'm not going to lie. Adam Dunn, Jersey Autograph. All right, next pack up. There we go. Empty pack. All right, first one up here for the Dodgers. Rookie 2020 Bowman, Gavin Lux. Base card. Dodgers, Nathan G. There you go. For the Giants, Bowman Chrome 2019 from Chrome Draft. Refractor out of 499, Logan Wyatt, 1 of 499. That's your kind of thing. San Francisco Giants on that one. Nathan G, another hit for you. And for the Cubbies, nice hit here. 15 tops Chrome. Rookie, BGS Mint 9 of Chris Bryant. Card number 112, Chicago Cubs. Nathan G, sweeping that up. Nice card there for you. Half done, half to go. Still plenty of stuff to get in here. I will be putting another one of these up. Welcome back, Jeff. <laughs> All right, starting off here for the Toronto Blue Jays, rookie auto Trent Thornton. Rookie base auto. Blue Jays is VA, not numbered on that one. 
Next up, another Padres rookie, Fernando Tatis Jr. This is 35 and 99 from Tribute. That's a good one to have. Padres cleaning up. One of the best uh, teams to get in this product, by the way, in case anyone was curious. The Mets and Blue Jays are also big, and the White Sox. Uh, as I mentioned, the Blue Jays. Nice 2019 aqua shimmer of Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 88 of 125 on this one. Toronto Blue Jays getting a nice card there. That is, once I find it again, VA. Nice hit. Number 125 on that one. All right, next up here. For the Rockies, Nolan Arenado from 2019 Brooklyn Collection Gold, 39 of 50. 39 of 50 on that for the Rockies. That one goes to Tim S. I'm not going to lie because I have cards on the table. 39 of 50 on that Arenado. Next one up, autograph Logan Davidson. Green Prismatic Auto, 5 of 10 on that one. 5 of 10 on Logan Davidson autograph. And again, like I said, some of these boxes are loaded with one team. Um, just to make it a little more interesting, Fernando Tatis Jr. image variation from the Complete Sets 2019 rookie. Nice hit there. Padres with four Tatis rookies. And just for the record, um, Logan Davidson is for the A's. So this card is going to go to the Oakland Athletics, which is Greg L. All right, a few more packs to go here, and then we'll random off that clearly authentic box. There we go. All right, starting off here, we have a Colin Barber Blue Prismatic Auto. This one is 24 of 50. Colin Barber on that one. Next one up for the Dodgers. Nice hit here. First Bowman Sky Blue Refractor of Cody Hosey. Los Angeles Dodgers, Nathan G. There you go. And for the Braves, 2019 Heritage High Number Rookie of Ronald Acuna Jr. Atlanta Braves getting on the board there. Nice one for UVA. All right, three left here. There you go. Next up for the Cubbies, 2019 Chronicles jersey, Anthony Rizzo. That one is not numbered. We've got for the Reds, rookie Aristides Aquino. 2020 Bowen, Cincinnati Reds on that one. And a really nice hit. I said there was a bunch of these in the product. Here you go, VA. Baltimore Orioles, Adley Rushman, 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire, first Bowman. Nice card there. There are a few of these in the product. Adley Rushman, first Bowman Chrome Sapphire. All right, two packs left. Here we go. Starting this one off with an Eloy Jimenez, card 670 from Series 2. Base rookie. Chicago White Sox. Uh, from Project 2020, we've got Ken Griffey Jr. That's a Shore Griffey. Still in its uh, protective sealed case. Ken Griffey Jr. Mariners card. That one is going to... I'm trying to call it names as we go here. VA grabbing that one. And for the Tigers 2019 Bowman Draft, Riley Green Sky Blue, just like the Hosey. Detroit Tigers on this one. That's going to go to Tim S. Nice hit there. That one will definitely be going up in value as he gets closer to the majors. And let's finish off the packs, and we'll rent them off the box after this. 
nothing left in that pack. Starting off with a Cubs Rookie of the Year favorites insert, Nico Horner. Chicago Cubs on that one. And a reminder, if you do go hitless, I will definitely throw something in uh, for you. Uh, I got a bunch of cards left over. So no, everyone's getting something at the very least. Uh, for the Mets, rookie, card 475 from the complete sets, Pete Alonzo. Your Mets hitting pretty good so far. And to finish off the break, nice autograph, number 299 from Tier 1, Juan Gonzalez for the Texas Rangers. 228 of 299 on this one. And the Texas Rangers are Tim S. Nice card there to finish the break. Now, we are not done yet. We've got a clearly authentic box to give away. So I'm going to bring you guys back over here to the left monitor. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the teams, their original list here, we're going to randomize it three times. And whoever's on top after the third random is going to get that clearly authentic box, which uh, if you want it broken, I'll break in a separate video. So keep an eye out for that here. So three times, and then we'll bring it back over to the other screen and see what happens. Good luck, all. We've got one, two, and the box is going to go to the Colorado Rockies. Up top here, the Colorado Rockies are Tim S. Congratulations, buddy. So Tim S. with the Colorado Rockies. Right there. Tim S. getting that. Remember, if you did not hit anything, I will be sending you something. Don't worry. I've got a bunch of $10, $20 hitters just for this scenario. So no one is walking away with nothing. I will have a second one up of this. Hopefully it'll be on a day when we don't have any streaming issues. Um, in the meantime, check out my other breaks, ajaxsportscards.com. Thank you for uh, joining and thank you for watching. Check out those breaks and I'll see you in the next one. All right, who's having streaming issues? Okay, so it's basically it's Nathan and Tim, I think, were the only two that said anything theoretically about it. during the stream. Okay, so Josh, Nathan, and Tim all had issues. So if I'm correct, everyone else didn't have an issue with their stream. That is weird. I'm going to check real quick to see if anyone's reporting any issues. Because that's definitely a thing that's possible. Let me check real quick.
Yeah, this is a hard problem to run down because only some people are having issues. Sec, I'm trying to figure out. I'm looking. I'm looking over release notes here to see if maybe there was an update that I missed, but it doesn't say that there's any updates missing. Stand by. Stand by. We're gonna figure. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be okay. First test. I'm gonna see if I'm able to upload a video. If I'm not up, able to upload this, it'll tell me something's wrong with it. That's so weird. That tells me it's not a stream issue then. The chat wouldn't be working. I mean, the chat just straight up wouldn't be working. Hmm. I'm asking Tim to see if he's iPhone or iPad. If that's the case, then maybe it's specifically the, an iPhone issue. That would make me feel better. No offense to everyone. That would make me feel better knowing it's not an issue with my stream. Because the only ones that had issues it looks like have been Nathan, Tim, and Josh. If Nathan and Josh are both iPhone, hmm. Has anyone had the issue in the past like 10 minutes, by the way?
Okay, so Tim is on an iPhone too. So the three people having issues. Is there anyone watching that's watching on an iPhone or an iPad that isn't having issues? Because that would narrow it. That would narrow it down a, a decent amount. Yeah, this the stream on my side, I can tell from my side. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm without issues here. The stream itself is okay. But, like, for example, I can look at, you know, the concurrent viewers, you know, average watch time, stuff like that, and that's not updating for me. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm on a PC. Okay, thank you, Edison. That that does help. Okay, so that fixes one issue. Now I've got to figure out why analytics isn't updating for me. So theoretically, uh, I would suggest if you can get to a laptop or something that's not an iPhone, um, that will make this easier. Because literally the average watch time for the stream is around 2 minutes and 50 seconds, or it's usually somewhere around 40 to 50 minutes. Because when you refresh, it, you know, it cuts it off as a new playback. I have 107 playbacks. So literally the three of you, if you had to refresh 20 times each, would probably equal that. So that I, I am seeing it on my side, definitely. It, it, it very well could be that. Like I said, it, between that and the stupid uh, trying to make me default to a different stream, I'd, su I'd suggest moving to a computer of some sort. I'll wait for you to get back, Josh, to do your box. 
I am still taking live breaks, by the way, <laughs> for anyone that's watching. Because uh, I've been able to verify it here. I've got two people here with Microsoft devices or Android devices, and they're not having issues either. So it's definitely mobile Android, and it's probably screwing with a couple of different things right now. iOS 14 dropped yesterday, it looks like. I'm not sure if that um, is part of the issue. Okay, I don't know if it's available yet, so... Give me one second to check something real quick. While Josh does that, I'll be right back.
Okay. In the meantime, guys, there's six left in Museum and Elite. Uh, they're both divisional breaks. <clears throat> I'm going to put up a Light the Fire number two. Yeah, it looks like on my side it's pretty good now. My analytics keep going or updating. It is 2020. We should have expected this. <laughs> this should have this should have been known. We should have known this was going to happen. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Uh, in the meantime, <clears throat> but yeah, if uh, if Nathan and or who else was having issues? Yeah, Nathan, Nathan, if Nathan, if you happen to still be watching, um, let me know if you've found a workaround yet.
Yeah, I, I can't find anything widespread, so I don't know if it's just an issue right now or whatever. But, uh, all right, Josh, pick me a number. And then we'll get your elite going. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Good luck, Josh. Let's see what we got here. We've got a live break here for Josh doing a box of 2020 Elite Football. This stuff is a lot of fun to open. I do have a, a divisional break, two boxes up currently on the site. Go check that out. Trying to get that filled as well. 20 packs in here, five cards per pack. Lots of inserts that, uh, that do pretty well, have some value in it. So don't sleep on some of these. So hopefully you get a good box here to start off. Starting off $7.99, Neville Gallimore for the Cowboys. And a case hit right off the bat here. Uh, this is a, and believe it or not, this is what it's called, a razzle-dazzle parallel of Desmond Patton, rookie for the Colts. That's what it's called. I'm not lying. Uh, regular base after that. But case hit first pack. All right, keeping it going here. We've got rookie for the Ravens to 99, Justin Matabuke. 4.99 on that one. Regular base there. Oh, we do have a points card. This is an interesting amount of points here. 600 points. That's not uh, too shabby, actually. Um, I'm worried that that might have replaced your pen pals auto, but 600 points is not horrible. First time I've seen points in this. Gonna keep it going here. Regular base, number to 99. Nice insert here. Red star status of Patrick Mahomes. Nice insert right there. Regular base after that. More regular base here. J.K. Dobbins rookie on deck insert. Uh, number to 399 for the Eagles. Carson Wentz red and base. If it makes you feel better, the redemptions are of good players, which means that the points replace a bad name, if that makes you feel better. Uh, $7.99, Adam Trotman, and Tyreek Hill, get this out from under here, Tyreek Hill 2000 Elite Insert. Keeping it going here, we've got Playmakers, Barry Sanders, it's got a, uh, a texture to it. Next up here, we've got a Jersey Relic Threads of Mark Gastineau for the Jets, number 299 on that one, regular base otherwise. 
keeping it going. We've got Red Rookie, Desmond Patton. Might as well go for the uh, rainbow here, $3.99 for the Colts. Next up here, Alvin Kamara, Tidal Waves. I know they're live, so that, that, that kind of makes me feel better. Uh, full throttle to 349. We've got Christian McCaffrey. All these, most of the inserts have some sort of texture to it. They're actually really nice quality. Keeping it going here. Autograph is going to be Dante Hall for the Chiefs. Elite autograph 45 of 99. Elite Auto. Keeping it going here. Uh, $7.99, Raekwon Davis. And to 90, uh, $98, LaVisca Chenault Jr., Aspirations Red. If that really did replace your pen pals, I got a pen pals I'll include for it. I have a low-end one sitting around. Just so you have a pen pals out of Josh Jacobs Elite Deck insert. I'm not a big fan of that decision. Grant Delpit's rookie on deck. We have rookie Jalen Rieger. 2000 Elite. Let's get that off there. 2000 Elite insert and base. Next pack here, we got a purple 399 Matt Ryan for the Falcons. Pat, uh, Tom Brady base, Buccaneers uniform. We continue on. Uh, number to 15, that's actually a really nice hit here. Gold status die cut 415 of Gardner Minshew for the Jaguars. Really tough hit. 415 on this one. Very nice status die cut. And last pack of the box is going to be number to 75, Field Vision Purple, Deshaun Watson. Some nice names here with the inserts. Field Vision Purple and some base. Like I said, I've got a low-end pen pals, so you get that. At least you get an on-card auto with the box. But you did get a nice amount of points. Thank you for the break. All right. Let me put that up here. Yeah, figure figure the points figure the points was a low end pen pals auto. That's probably actually better than some of the low end pen pals, but it's still annoying. But like I said, I'll get one for you. Okay, it's got it's got to be mobile Apple then. I mean, it's, there's no other. It just it just has to be. I am listing a light the fire number two, guys. It'll be up in about 30 seconds or so. Uh, we'll try and get that moving. Like I said, 34.95, two teams. Um, 
nice amount of stuff. You saw a lot of quality stuff come out of a box. V8 did a box last week that was really good. I'm telling you, most if not all of these boxes have a lot of value packed into them for the price. And a lot of this stuff has actually appreciated um, since I packed it. So there's even more value than usual in this stuff. So, number two of that is up. Even Shopify is being weird. Everything is being weird today. I don't like it. <laughs> Stop being weird. There we go. Okay. Still taking orders, guys. By the way, don't sleep on those Razzle Dazzle parallels. They seem to be going a decent amount. Um, there's no print run, but if they're one a case, there's two, or there's what? I think 200 subjects that have that parallel. There can't be too many of each one. I was going back to the, uh, the 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 uh, the one that he's been having the most luck with. All right, Josh. Uh, one to four. We're gonna do a legacy for Josh. Four. 
only have three legacies left after this. Good luck to you, man. All right, our next break of the night. Josh, this time, trying a 2020 Legacy. Let's see if we can dodge the points this time. Elite Divisional has six spots left. Museum Divisional has six spots left. I've got packs and boxes available for Museum. Light the Fire has been on fire recently. Go check that out. Bunch of stuff still good in that product. I can tell you right now, the top two hits have not been hit yet in that stuff. There are still some huge cards in that product. Starting off here with a Jared Pinkney Optochrome. Rookies T. Higgins, Van Jefferson. Got a yellow parallel, number to 150, a good one to get. 47 to 150, Patrick Mahomes, yellow. Nice one there. Joe Green, Chase Young, insert. Regular base. Uh, Larry Fitz, Terrell Davis, regular rookies. We got an ooh shiny red mini. This one is Austin Hooper for the Falcons. Get that to focus in. Number to 75 on that. Base and rookies. Uh, there's a Jordan Alvarez auto to two. And there's a Aristides Aquino patch auto to ten. And I believe there's a Pete Alonzo tribute auto as well. And I know I'm forgetting one. Nice one here under the lights. Joe Burrow rookie auto. Or not rookie auto. Rookie insert. That's actually a top loadable card. Regular base. Uh, we got a red 299. Devin Bush for the Steelers. Nice one for you. Justin Herbert rookie. And it looks like we got a patch auto here. Number to 100. Uh, it's going to be a red patch auto of Collegia Lipscomb from Vanderbilt for the Chiefs. Nice patch there. Red patch auto to 100. Regular base after that. Regular base cards here. Insert JJ Watt. Next up here, another Chrome Jalen Hurts rookie, Octachrome. Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins. Got an orange 199 Saquon Barkley for the Giants. Hitting nice on all the parallels today. Justin Jefferson rookie. Regular base. Drew Brees, two a rookie. Uh, another mini nice rookie here, Jerry Judy, a hollow mini rookie. Can't go wrong with that name. Joe Burrow rookie, he's good too. A couple packs left here. Another Optochrome under the lights. This time it's Christian McCaffrey. Another Mahomes insert. 
few packs left. Should still be a second auto coming up here. And there it is. Autograph is going to be Nate Stanley, rookie auto. Went to the Vikings, quarterback from Iowa. And a red rookie, first rounder for the Eagles, Jalen Rieger, $299. Oops, don't fall over. There we go. Two packs left. Regular base, Tony Dorsett, Henry Ruggs rookie, and we'll finish it off with a, another mini. This one is Matthew Stafford, number 100, bronze mini. And a nice green parallel to 100 of Jerry Rice, 45 of 100 on that one. And some regular base, nice box there, some good autos, and a lot of good parallels. Thank you for the break. Let me list that up here. I made a sell sheet for Light the Fire. I want to see if uh, what cards I listed on there. Yeah, that was that was definitely a good box. This case has been really good. See, now, we, now we're getting getting even weirder. Somebody just tried to hack into my Instagram account. I just got a suspicious uh, activity thing. Man, this day is weird. I don't I don't like this day. Make it stop. Oi. Yeah, the top top card is a Mookie Betts uh, prospect out of 149. Um, that's a really nice, really big card. A lot the Alonzo autos are green. Uh, I think there was a Juan Soto that already got hit. Thank you, VA. I'll let you pick your box too. Let's see, one, two, three. Actually, there's nothing gone from this case. One to twelve. You're getting a box in a fresh case. So pick your poison. One being the box on the table. If that matters to you. Hi, Tim, for the time being. <laughs>
for the record, if anyone doesn't want to pick their box, I always default to box three. That's always my default. But I always like giving people the choice if they're in the room. But I know some people don't want to pick their box and be like, oh, I'm the reason I got a bad box. Totally agree with that. Yeah, you did really good at the end of that break, Tim. Box number three. All right. It's the first time I missed that throw. <clears throat> yeah, you you uh you did very nice at the end of that break. And that Judge Utz card is worth like five ten bucks. So don't sleep on the Utzes. That's why I put them in there. You can only get them here around here. I've been selling them really consistently uh, on COMC. Do this real quick. We, well, we, we, got a we got a bunch to just have, and we had, you know, company last week. And I like the barbecue ones. Although Middlesworth chips are much better than, they're the best chips. Again, another regional one. But Middlesworth potato chips, if you're from the northeast area here, oh, that's, that's where it's at. Middlesworth chips. If you haven't had them, get them. They're good. Well, you now you got a little piece of PA coming your way with the Aaron Judge card. All right, good luck, VA. All right, we got a live break here for VA doing a box of 2020 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Four hits here in this box. Yeah, Utz is most of the Northeast, but Middlesworth seems to kind of hug the Northeast extension here. It finally is making its way down here. Two, three, and four. Empty box, obviously. A thousand. I mean, we've probably gotten maybe a total of 15 of the value packs. So, and there's three cards in every value pack. So I probably have 45 or 50 of them. I'd say about 10 of them are in this product, maybe 15, something like that. All right, VA, let's see what we got for you here. Starting off with a copper parallel, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's pretty good. Uh, Johnny Bench, Noah Syndergaard, Chris Sale, and Aaron Hicks for the Yankees. Nice patch, 9 of 35. Three color patch relic. They have a three card random pack thing in the twelve, uh, the twelve bag um, value packs where there's three of every flavor. It, there's, a, there's a special tops logo on there if there's a pack inside. All right, next up here, copper parallel, David Ortiz. We got Albert Pujols, Gavin Lux rookie, nice one there. Javier Baez and uh, quad or signature swatches dual relic auto of Kirby Yates. 
Number 19 of 50 for the Padres. Don't see his auto too often. Uh, I've hit two Yordans and two Trouts. It's a 100-card set, so it's actually really hard to get a specific player. All right, next one up here. We have Copper Pete Alonzo. Uh, Rico, uh, Nico Horner, rookie. Ricky Henderson. A sketch uh, reproduction, Gavin Lux. And archival autograph, number 299 for the Giants, Logan Webb. 32 of 299 on that one. All right, and our last pack here. We have a blue to 150, Keston Hira for the Brew Crew, Ichiro, Nolan Ryan, Alex Bregman, and primary pieces quad relic for the Braves to 99, Ozzy Albies. Quad jersey on that one. 67 to 99 for that one, and that will do it. Thank you for the break view. As I put that up here, it's 10.45 already. Time flies when you're having technical difficulties. Still taking orders. Uh, Light the Fire number two is back up. Six left in Elite Football and Museum Divisional. I hope we get them going. Still taking those orders. Light the fire boxes and packs still in stock. Museum boxes and packs still in stock. Elite Chronicles. Uh, Donruss Optic. Clearly Authentic. Flash. Obsidian. Bunch of different stuff still out there. Let me make sure everything's still in stock here. Yep, still taking breaks, guys. See you, Josh. How's it going, man? Still taking those orders, guys. About 10.45. Got the box here. You want, you want to open it? Okay, cool.
Let me just get yours out here. Alright. Alright. I forgot these don't like to stand on their own. Okay, good luck, Tim. Nothing beats a free box. Even if it's a bad box, it was free. All right, live break here for Tim opening his free box. A clearly authentic that he won in my Light the Fire group break via Redemption. Go check that out, guys. I've got group breaks of it, plus single packs and full boxes with some incentives there as well. It's a really great product. I loaded it up for you guys. Go check it out if you haven't already. So let's see what's in here. And we have a redemption. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Big hit here. 1951 red blueback auto of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And just like that, look what a free box can get you out of this stuff. Uh, that should be to 50 or less. I'm not, I mean, obviously, we're not going to be sure what it's serial number to until they redeem it. But that is a biggie. One of those mini uh, play ball 1951s. Um, those are really nice. Redemption there, unscratch. Obviously, you can take that out of the case. Not going to do it for you. But that is awesome. Vlad Jr., 1951 insert auto. That ain't bad for a free box. Congrats, buddy. That is awesome. Thanks for joining. And, hey, you guys can hit this stuff, too. Check out my breaks. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, that makes up for a lot of stuff, doesn't it? That's sweet. That is cool. I saw the redemption, so I'm like, what is it? I can't read it. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I was so confused by the uh, by the small text on the top. I had no idea what was going on. That is that's that that kind of made it worth it, right? I mean it's still aggravating, but it's it made it worth it. This is true. See, as usual now with a big hit, I've got to figure out what it's going for because that's the flipper in me. That's not bad at all. People are saying it's to 25, so I would definitely check that when it comes in. But that is a nice hit. Sweet. Love hitting stuff like that for you guys. Uh, a, little, uh, a little before 11 o'clock here. It kind of looks like it's uh, we've, we've kind of cleaned up here. Stuff's kind of going, going smoothly. I still have to figure out why my analytics were being weird, but they seem to be uh, they seem to be better at least.
I'll figure, I'll figure it out. Uh, well, no, 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 it is like the Alonzo. Um, it's just not the blue parallel. It's going to be the base, kind of like the Ricky Henderson. The Alvarez is the 53. Uh, the 53 reimagined is what they call those. We still haven't hit that yet in this case. It's either in one of the three boxes I still have sitting here, or it's in one of the two boxes that are saved for the redemptions. Um, for the other, there's two more clearly authentic redemptions left in Light the Fire. There's three of those, and there's three Diamond Kings. So there should be a 53 in one of those five boxes, theoretically. That's why, that's why I love getting group breaks or full boxes of this stuff open because you get to see you know how I put a box together and this stuff really is loaded I really put a lot of stuff into this and I you know, I'm already planning series two which I'm hoping to bring out in the winter but that's assuming a sellout of series one um, we're, we're down let's see I've opened one two three four almost five boxes in it looks like Oh, out of the 30. So we've gotten five, about five boxes of the 30 broken in about three weeks. So that's not bad. If we were to keep that, you know, if we were to keep that going, we'd probably get it all done by the end of October. That way I can put out a Series 2 in the winter when, you know, baseball products are at a minimum. But I've already got a bunch of good stuff saved off for Series 2. So... Series 1 in itself, though, is loaded. So if you're thinking about it, I still have, I believe, three packs left in this box. And remember, I do still have the full boxes available. Uh, when you buy a full box for a personal break, you get a free pack of 2020 Bowman Jumbo, which is a $45 value. That comes free with a box purchase. So keep that in mind here. 5 of 11, still taking orders. I'll have some goodies for everybody. I like giving stuff out. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Still taking orders, guys. And now eBay's giving me issues. What a weird day. Two more light the fires for Greg. Let's get that going. Pull those out for you.
me sleeve these real quick before I forget. Good luck, buddy. Let's see what we can grab for you. All right, next break of the night, 4VA, two packs of Light the Fire Baseball. Let's see what we can grab out of these. Good luck to you. Still taking orders, guys. Still past 11 o'clock here. We're at 11 o'clock, actually. Empty pack. Starting this one off with a rookie Aristides Aquino Bowman insert from 2020 Bowman, 1990 design. Card number two for the Yankees. Got a, another 2020 Bowman card here. 35 of 50 gold paper parallel. Estevan Florial for the Yanks. 35 of 50 on that one. Nice prospect. And from 2020 Tops, got a black parallel rookie auto of Abraham Toro. This one is numbered, oddly enough, 77 of 194. I would love to know where the other five went. But black parallel auto of Toro for the Astros. And pack number two. There we go. Empty pack. I'm going to start off with this one with a base rookie from 2019 Heritage High number, Pete Alonzo. 19 Heritage, card 519. Uh, card number 2, an atomic parallel of Casey Mize for the Tigers. These are one per hobby box. Not numbered, but limited. And nice graded card here from 2017 Bowman Chrome. This is a purple refractor auto, John Duplantier of the D-backs, first Bowman purple. It is a PSA Gem Mint 10. This one is number 239 of 250. Let's see if we can get that to go in there. There we go. Purple refractor auto, not a bad hit, especially a Gem Mint. Can't go wrong with that. And that'll do it. Thank you for the break. Coolio. Some more goodies for you. Still taking those orders, guys. A little past 11. Been a good night so far, other than the technical issues. We seem to have figured out the issue. But we're still here taking orders. Everyone's looking to get something. Yep, Chrome is supposed to be here Friday. Gold Standard is supposed to be here Friday. And next week is very baseball heavy. Um, Bowman Sterling and Leaf Trinity. Leaf Trinity, oddly enough, comes out on a Tuesday, it looks like. So I'll have that on Wednesday when it comes when, uh, when I'm back live. And Bowman Sterling is also next week. 
certified, I believe, or Elements, I believe, is all supposed to be next week for football. That's the first football product I wasn't able to pre-order at a decent price. But I do have a bunch of other 2020 and 2019 football stuff, so hopefully that can last us a while. Elements isn't super popular as it is anyway. So I'm not too worried about not having that. But what people are asking for, for boxes, that stuff, it's just not worth it. <laughs> It just, it really isn't. Yeah, but I, I will be much lower than uh, than the big guys, so keep an eye out for that. I'll probably post it up Thursday night. Still taking those orders, guys. All right, still taking those orders, guys. Go take a look. Plenty of good stuff up there to choose from. About two dozen products. Yeah, we're going, Tim.
Gonna do a last call for personal breaks for the night, guys. No problem. Have a good night, guys. Last call if anyone is looking to do a personal break. Last call for personal breaks.
All right, that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Have a good night, everybody. Hopefully a smoother stream tomorrow. I'll figure out if there's any, uh, any bumps I need to smooth out. And uh, we'll get something hopefully going tomorrow night. Have a good night, everybody. I'll be back at 9 p.m. tomorrow. See you guys.